What's going on, my friends? My name is M. Shady Grades, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield for the Nintendo Switch. The last time we uh, we started the semifinals of the Champion Cup, and now in this part, we are supposed to have a dinner with Champion Leon, but unfortunately, he got an unexpected meeting with Chairman Rose, and what could the meeting be about? I don't know, but it's taking a very long time, and we're worried, so we're going to go ahead and, I guess, save him? Because I guess he's kidnapped by... I mean, everyone says he's kidnapped, but, I mean, being kidnapped, especially on Leon's level, is kind of bizarre. So, to me, that just sounds like ludicrous to me. I said to me too many times in that sentence. Anyway, um, we are here in the Rose Tower, and before we head to the Rose Tower, there's a few items that we can get, and then now it is time to, well actually, first off, we got a TM. What is this TM about? Eerie Impulse. No. Alright. It is time to head inside. Wow. Right off the bat, this already looks so grand. I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. You know that? A hundred floors? I mean, it is a very tall, tall building, but a hundred floors? That's a lot. Oh, hi. You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Oh. Intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. Oh man, somehow Oleana knows that we're in here. I bet you will. Let's see if you can try. My bonus! Where is he? The chairman's at the top of the building, of course. Any important person would be on the top of any building. Alright, we're coming. Let's go. Uh, wait, what? Uh,. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh man, I, I like this entrance right here. So yeah, we're off to a really huge twist to the story. This threw me off- this part of the game threw me off big time when I uh, first played this. No, of course not. We just went up like five floors. Oh boy, look at this. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary, subsidiary uh, companies housed here in Rose Tower. Macrocosmos Construction.
I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to since we've come this far. I will say, this building, or this elevator, is the coolest looking elevator I've ever seen. Alright, so after every battle, Pop will heal up our Pokemon, which is good, because Alan did sure take a beating there. Oh, great, look at this. More people! Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall, and now we're 500 feet. So we're halfway up there. Life insurance? Same. <laughs> no, of course not. Why would they? That's why I have Pokemon Centers, because their service is for free! Nearly to the top! Okay, so the people down below were afraid of heights, but these guys are not. team member that has yet to evolve is now evolving, and look at this, Dragapult with two Dreepies. You want to learn something really cool? Dragon Darts? What is that? Attacks twice if there are, no, if, if there are two targets, this move hits each one once. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass. We're not on the same level as such a great man. All of Galar. Alright. And after all those medium difficulty battles, here we are. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got through all of the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. 
I would expect nothing less of the trainer's hand picked by ch champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. You shall be the first. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle and thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Wow. I never thought we'd be battling Oleana, but here it is. Oleana has five Pokemon. Her first Pokemon is going to be Frostlass, a level 50 Ice Ghost type with Hex, Icy Wind, Will-O-Wisp, and Double Team. Wow. This is... This is very unexpected, but... Uh, oh! Avoided it! Nice! Nice friendship power right there, and we're gonna go ahead and take it out in return with Dark Pulse, and there we go! First of our five Pokemon defeated. How cheeky do such a such a thing to hurt my Pokemon, or whatever whatever the heck she said, it was going so fast. Alright, next up is Salazzle! Uh, let's go for Sammy. Salazzle is on level 50, Poison Fire type with Venom Shock, Incinerate, Poison Gas, and Dragon Pulse. Okay, this is a <laughs> funky looking Pokemon. At least that's what it looks like to me. Okay, okay, going for Dragon Pulse. Please don't kill. It's probably not gonna kill. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Go for that, and there we go. I knew you could do it. Just that you, you get that text box every time, uh, whenever your Pokemon reaches maximum friendship. So it's something in gen Generation Seven that they introduce. All right. Um. Next up is. Oh man, how do you pronounce the Pokemon? Sarina? I, I, I'm gonna, I guess that's how you pronounce that? Um, it is level 50 Grass type with uh, Trop Kick, not Drop Kick, Trop Kick with the T. Uh, Trop Kick, Stomp, Attract, and Acrobatics. Okay, so far, so good. This is oh man, nice. This um this play is so far being really easy. Partly because I'm kind of over leveled. Alright, next up is Milotech. Level 50, level 51, water type with Surf Safeguard, Aqua Ring, and Recover. Alright, so this Pokemon has lots of HP. So I'm expecting this to not be a two shot. Or to, I'm expecting this to be a two shot. So we're gonna go for the stronger move here. Okay, there we go. Figured I figured using overdrive would would actually take it out. All right, so we're doing a pretty good job of sweeping our team, which is kind of sad, but it, it it is what it is, unfortunately. All right, let's go ahead and use our new evolved Allen here for the last book one. Uh, this is Garbodor, level 52, Poison type with Gunk Shot, Stomping Tantrum, Rock Blast, and Toxic Spikes. Oleana's gotta finish this. Yeah, you really do gotta finish this. You have to take out six Pokemon with just your Garbodor. Can you do it? Well, I guess we'll find out. Alright, so Oleana will. Uh, Gigantamax the Garbodor at the first opportunity, so we're going to go ahead and use... We're going to go ahead and Dynamax our Dragapult here. Oh man, he looks crazy looking. I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. Man, her face. This is like a change of- a sudden change of personality. Like, all the times that we've encountered her, she has this emotionless face, and then in this battle, it's just like a, a total change of person. It's kinda crazy. Also, I like Gigantamax form Garbodor. 
Because <laughs> it's, it's literally a pile of garbage. It's so hilarious. Oh man, unfortunately we, we did not... That did not do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. It's going to go for the rock ball. Okay. Well, we are super tanky to that attack, I guess. Oh, okay. So there's a sandstorm here. Okay, well then that also affects you too because you're also going to get hit by the um, sandstorm. Alright, let's see how much uh, Max Fant has to do. And we do the rest of the job. And there we go. Wow. Alright. So, somewhat easier than how the fight went in my practice run. I guess it's probably because I have a higher level team. And there we go. <laughs> and there, and then her face. I wasn't able to win. You really are a hopeless woman. Uh, no. Nah. I don't know. This is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any challenger who's made it this far would be a no pushover. What? So you were holding back or something? All the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There's nothing to be done now. It wasn't just my Grim Snarls, everybody else. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. Man, all that for the chairman. We discussed this a hundred times already, and you still fail to understand what's at stake? You, who was supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion, as champion isn't this madness. It's to carry out that championship match. That's what Galar wants, and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. Wait, so the tournament's gonna be cancelled? That's ridiculous. How much energy do you need for this entire country to be uh, running? What? It does matter. Everyone's looking forward to the championship. Okay. But the future is also a thousand years from now. Lee, you've never showed when you were supposed to. Uh, when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all those team yell oddballs—they all help us to get out here. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. What? This makes no sense. Oh, sweet, free food. <laughs> My serious face. I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one of one for the history books.
I am going to change the course of history. How do you suppose you're going to do that? The next evening. Wait, did we already eat? I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Whoa, 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 hop, come on, man. Yeah, she's not like the others. Look at her sunglasses. All of us are here for the right reasons. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. That's what she says. Come on, you gotta trust her. Alright, well, I don't think there's anything much else to take a look at in the, ta in the city, so I guess we'll go. Here we are. All right. Well, here at Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium in all Galar, you're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever and set the world on fire. Very well then. Okay. In that case. That is going to be it for this episode of Pokemon Storm Shield, and next time we are going in into the stadium again to, to register for the finals. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.